All right, this is mainly a test. Uh, I haven't recorded a video in a long time. Um, I've done some some vintage uh, reselling recently. I've really concentrated on my eBay, um, and so I thought I'd show you guys some of the stuff I've picked up over the past couple months. Um, I actually pulled. I have a, a pinch sciatic nerve, so I've been dealing with that for a few months now. So I'm kind of. Uh, I don't know. It's just uncomfortable pain. Um, so I haven't really been able to get out to thrift stores recently, but um, this is the stuff that uh, I got, um, I guess, on my eBay and my Depop, uh, Facebook Marketplace, and then um, I'm going to just post this video here and see how it turns out. Um, I got this sweet Miller Lite ESPN shirt. This is super dope. Yeah, I also thought, I haven't done this in a while, I got a, a cart, Mitten Extract, Super Lemon Haze, I thought I'd uh, smoke on this, let you guys know how it is, I got it from Vibe as always, Inkster Michigan. I mean, it was cheap. Two for thirty, so, um, fifteen bucks a piece. But you couldn't, you had to buy the, the two. Really. I think at one it was just thirty bucks. Um, so that, I mean, it's definitely dark. Let's see. We'll see how it tastes. Cheers. I got this different pen. Still charges with like a, a USB, but it's not the it's not the good one. I don't know what happened to that one. Cheers. smoke reduction. It tastes okay. Um, it usually has like the terpenes. Terp terpenoline? Terpen terpenoline? That's like the, the lemony one. That one's not, I mean it definitely comes through. So it's got 82% THC, 0.39 CBD. I wish there was something I could do about this light. I'm trying to block it with my head. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's not too bad, I guess. For 15 bucks. I mean, it's tested by a lab, you know. It's got a QR code on the back. It was produced uh, on Halloween, October 31st, 2022. When was it tested? It was tested November 2nd. So, I mean, it's only been sitting in here for, I mean, going on two months. So, yeah, it is a bit old. I mean, that's what you get for 15 bucks, though, you know. All right, I'm going to get into some of these shirts that I got. Uh, and I'll take some more rips off this while I do. This first one I wanted to show off was this uh, 90s. Uh, it doesn't have a year on it. Um, it's definitely 90s, though. It's single stitch. It's Bob Marley. What's it say? We or who feels it? What's that say? Who feels it knows it? Definitely vintage, single stitch, made in USA, extra large. Back. 
super sweet. Um, I paid up for this one a little bit. I think I this was like 20 bucks at the thrift, but um, still super sweet. Uh, this one was only like a buck, I think. This Red Wings, 2002. Uh, Lee Sport Tag. Size large. Sorry, nothing on the back, just plain. Good condition. I think it was like a buck or two. I should, I think I'm gonna have to fold these. <laughs> I've got them all folded up all nice already. Next, yes. vintage SpongeBob shirt. If you can see that, lifeguard swimsuit optional. And he's literally, he's naked. Holding his fucking his dick. It's pretty funny actually. The SpongeBob tag. 2003. 2002. It's 20 years old now. Size XL. Pretty sweet. Playing on the back. Good condition. And if anybody wants any of this, um, either reach out to me here or um, the best place for you to probably find me would be Sauced, my Instagram. Um, I'm going to put it in the description of this video, but it's uh, S-A-U-C-E-D, the letter N, and then F-O-U-N-D, and then V-I-N-T-A-G-E, Sauced and Found Vintage. All one word. This isn't vintage, but um, I love the Grateful Dead. So if I can find, I think this is a woman's shirt, honestly. Um, which is cool, you know. I don't, I don't discriminate. Grateful Dead, cool logo. Uh, this is from 2014. So, I mean, almost 10 years old. Well, it actually says 2013 on the, the graphic, so uh, let's take another hit. This video might be long too, 16 minutes I'm thinking, but we're going to take another hit of this. Cheers. cigarette that's the back this is the front it's got a pocket a Hanes heavyweight tag uh, size extra large I don't think this is vintage. It's just a Ron John shirt. It's got a big back graphic. Um, I think I found this at the bins. I was like, uh, yeah, I got like a bunch of shit for like six bucks. This is another shirt that I think I'm gonna just be giving to a friend. Uh, we have a um, a collective. We have a collective in Detroit, and I found a shirt that says the collective. So. This vintage. I'm not sure the year of this one. It's definitely mid 2000s, say 2002 to 2005. Um, just Pistons. It's on an NBA tag. 
You know, I mean, this is if, if anything, you know, for how little I little I paid for this, I can definitely sit on it for a few years and you know, if it's 2005, wait five years and becomes you know 20 years, vintage. Some other stuff. Hard Rock, Detroit. Some old muscle cars with the guitars, gears. Super industrial. This um, sleeve pack. Let me try to see. Hard Rock Crew. Hard Rock Cafe. No. Gears kind of have like this glittery effect on them. Yeah, I'll take this. Rock and Bowl. New Orleans. Bowling shirt? I don't know. Hanes heavyweight. Size medium. Fresh medium. From campus collection. I have this all over flag, or not all over, but double sided flag shirt. I like the tag on it. High Wind Productions, made in USA. I don't know. Something cool. It's Corvette, 40th anniversary. Main USA XL tag. Definitely needs a, a good, good bleach wash. This isn't vintage, but I like horror movies. I think I might end up giving this to my mom. She really likes this shirt. She's seen me wearing it, wore it a couple times. Like Michael Myers, Scream, Freddy, uh, Jason. So, pretty cool. It's by, uh, I can't really read it. GDA. GD Apparel, I don't know. Good roller. Uh, vintage Pistons shirt. I live in Detroit, so I definitely be finding the Pistons, so. I think this is vintage. I'm not sure. No. 2008. Dale. Earnhardt Jr. Chase. Got the NASCAR logo. I mean, it's cool. It's around 16 years, so. I mean, four years from now, it'll be vintage. Considered vintage. And I mean, NASCAR stuff's good right now. So, I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take another hit. Nice and high. Back of my knee, down my calf, and underneath my butt. Oh my god. 
just ex electrocuting pain, like excruciating, but it's been there for now for a few months. So, I mean, doctors keep saying just, you know, just stay off of it, take the meds. So that's what I've been doing. Seven days. It's got a ton of stuff, man. I've been buying vintage kids clothes just because honestly, if I want to, if, if I want to be completely honest, um, I've been you know going to thrift stores now for 10, 15 years, and the amount of people that have started thrifting and reselling has just been, it's just blew up over the past like, I don't know, two years. Um, I it, it's gone from me spending an hour in a thrift store and finding like five, six, seven good things that I know I can make money on to me spending like three hours in the thrift store and not only searching the men's section but having to go through the women's and kids clothes now um, so it's just I don't know you know I love it I love the the culture and I love the the whole like thrifting vibe and reselling vintage clothes vibe and wearing vintage clothes vibe i mean this is what i wear on a daily basis i mean these are from like the 90s and then this is from like the 90s too um so is my hat i'm keeping the bob marley shirt from the 90s you know like all, that's pretty much only thing i wear is from shit from like when i was born it's 95 and before that so it's just it's, it's i don't know it's just tough going to thrift stores now and seeing people ramp, ransack the shelves and literally leave the, the thrift store like it, it I, like it was Black Friday and there's clothes everywhere on the ground and there's hangers all on the ground like when I'm going to the thrift store nowadays I'm put if I see clothes hanging off the hangers on the shelves or on the the racks I'm taking the time to put the hang the the you know the, the collar back in the hanger and making it look you know presentable for the next person to go through it and I don't even work at these thrift stores and I'm doing it because I actually care about the I don't know the whole you know thrift thing I care about thrift thing I care about people get, getting rid of their stuff and people like me being able to go out and reuse reuse it and find other um, other uses for it you know turning trash to treasure so i'm sorry that was just a little rant i'm sorry um i got some kids clothes vintage harry potter shirt like chamber of secrets the back side i don't know kids like medium or something Tag says extra large. So maybe even a adult small. This is definitely a kid's shirt, but it's dope graphic Hollywood or Hot Wheels showstopper. I might honestly have to cut this video into two parts. Suck. Another vintage kid shirt, Power Rangers, Wild Force. I'm trying to look over the phone, see the fucking picture. Large, size seven. I don't know what, I don't know. I don't have kids, so. Another dope shirt I picked up. All purple stripes, Atlantic City, with that like um, paisley, um, I don't know what you would call that actually. Uh, you see dress shirts like it all the time. And then the date, I think it says 92. I don't know, it's on a, a Tennessee River or a Tennessee River Gold tag. In USA, I'm sorry that freaking glare. God, what kind of host am I? Oh, it's 
super sick tag. I was thinking about honestly keeping this one. I've never seen one like this. It's vintage 1990s DC Comics Robin. From the Haynes heavyweight. Size large. Nothing on the back. The logo. It's like the comic book comics logo. Now we're getting into some, this is some of this, man, some of this stuff I've had since summer. Lee Sport, Extra Large, Main USA, Detroit Tigers, 1997, vintage, six sleeves. I mean, dude, I'll, I would honestly let, start to let some of this stuff go for like five bucks, um, plus shipping. Made in USA, vintage, Michigan. The big embroidered patch. This is like a huge patch on here. Marina, made in USA tag. Had this stuff up on eBay for so long now. I mean, there's stuff in here that I'm just I'm going through that I'm not showing you, just because I don't want to make the video ten minutes long. Vintage Pepsi shirt, 100% satisfaction Pepsi. Tag is where it's at on this. Does that say nothing else? is a Pepsi. Again, all this stuff, man, I paid like close to nothing, a couple bucks. Except for that Bob Marley shirt. Even the Grateful Dead, it was a few bucks. Altex tag, vintage art shirt. <laughs> Got a date, 1982. Super sick. I mean, that's from the 80s, bro. I mean, sorry about the glare again. I'm just looking for more clothes to show you guys. This is found this pop smoke shirt cannot say pop without the smoke or forget the smoke and I got this one with thrift this yellow tag means it was on the clearance shelf got it for a buck originally they wanted it's like two dollars and twenty cents I mean <coughs> that's pop smoke that's it Good size, too. I found this, dude, at the thrift. Honestly, when I found this, I was surprised it was still there. So screw Japan. Next time, use a bigger bomb. That's so, that's horrible. Ohio, fucking Ohio. 1992. Made in USA. Off screen is that. This thing is like perfect condition. Honestly, I've had I had this up for I I wanted a lot for it to begin with because I've never seen one like it. I don't I mean it's in like mint condition. So yeah, I don't know. Man, I got other shirts. I got vintage Geico. Um, I'm 
set to thrift. Vintage Burberry. Front and back polo. Burberry Brit, size XL. I think this is for a kid, but it would definitely fit like a men's small. All sorts of stuff, man. Vintage South Park shirt. I'm just trying to see if there's anything super sick in here that would be worth showing you guys. This video is going to be 30 minutes long, by the way, so excuse me. Ooh, liquid blue. I'm mad they don't put the year on here. I can't, I can't make it out if it is right there. I don't know. This is kind of cool. It's like mushrooms in space. Again, found this all of thrift. This Grateful Dead shirt. It's pretty cool. Bait and tackle. Oh, it's unbranded. Except for down here, it says textiles. I don't know, I think that's just the, the t shirt. But it's definitely great for that. So, yeah, I just went through all this stuff. Okay, I don't know. What is this 20, 15, 20 t shirts? Plus the Bob Marley. And that's just one of the four bins of clothes I have. Um, not counting my like clothes that I have here that I wear. Like this. I mean, I don't wear this stuff all the time. Like I said, I wear stuff. It goes. Uh, I wear it for a few days. Wear it for a month. And then uh, most of the time it just goes up on eBay. But this is like for some sort of town in uh, Maryland. Um, yeah, I have a, it's for a bar, I think. Um, but it's definitely a Grateful Dead reference. But I love the turtles, man. I mean, I love turtles and I love Grateful Dead. So the cost, too, I mean, super sick. I love this shirt. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take one more hit and then I'll let you guys go. I hope YouTube lets me upload this. I mean, I've had a YouTube account for a long time. Um, and seems like people are enjoying the, the past videos I'm putting up so uh, if you enjoy this try to give me a thumbs up maybe and um, I don't know leave a comment and tell me uh, what your favorite shirt that you saw out of all of them was cheers See you guys on the next one. Peace.